Look how smoky this is, all the dust and rust in the air. Nasty. But anywho. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're working back on the 52 Chevy, and this time we are actually working on the bed supports that are actually gonna support the wood bed in the back. The problem is, because I did air ride the truck, and it's lower down so it lays frame, we can't have just a flat bed. I could do a flat bed with it raised up, but I wanna to try to keep the stock height of the bed as much as I can in the back behind the rear axle, and then have it notch up to the higher height in the front of the bed back over here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out this cross support right in here. Get that out of the way. We don't need that anymore in the truck. We're gonna cut out some of the old supports inside the bed of the truck. Then we're gonna start laying down the cross supports and welding them into place. The stock truck actually bolts these into place. I'm gonna actually weld these into place crosswise in the bed as I'm probably never gonna take this bed back apart. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna figure out the height I want the original stock bed to lay. It might be slightly higher than the stock bed, but I still wanna have some pretty decent depth in the back of the truck over here so I can set a cooler or whatnot, not worry about it falling out of the back of the truck. So we're gonna work on that right now. We're gonna remove this cross support first, remove some of the other old brackets in the bed. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is this cross support right here that we put in place to keep the box nice and square. We're gonna cut this out. I just have to cut the welds on this side and cut the welds over on this side here. That way this cross support will actually come out. Then you see these little supports in here, these old supports right along here, up here, and then down on this side too. There and over there. We're gonna cut these little old supports out as we don't need them anymore. I might end up raising the back section of the bed here up a couple inches just to clear the frame right here then have the bed come up here and then shoot across up higher all the way over to here. So the back of the bed in this section right here will be a little bit higher. Step down back to almost the original bed height, bed floor height down here. And that's the plan for today. So first thing we'll do is we're gonna get rid of this cross member and start cutting out these little old brackets. Get those out of the way. Then we're gonna figure out where we wanna actually have the bed riding for the bed height. We're gonna have wood slats in here. So we need to build the supports across here that the wood slats will bolt to. Have it step up and then have a wood slats back here to match the wood slats down there. They'll be up here. Same thing, probably riding right around this height, right around here. So we'll still have some bed height back here. It'll just be slightly higher than the original height back here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this bracket out of here. I've got a couple welds that's gotta cut through the top and the bottom here on both sides. This bar will come out. Support's now out. So now that we have that out of the way, we wanna focus on getting rid of these old supports out of here. We're not gonna be using these at all. They're just old, they're rusty, they're in the way. I'm just gonna start cutting these vertically and hoping that they I just break them off and smooth them out. Then we're gonna have to weld in the new supports, which we'll worry about next. So right now we've got this part cut out and this part all cleaned up on both sides. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the driver's side over here. We've got this section down here on the passenger side all cleaned up, as well as the front section right here. 
and on the back section of the bed we got that all cleaned up as well as the front part of the driver's side right here. So both of these are all cleaned up now on both sides. Now we can actually start working on the framework of how we're gonna position the floor. My biggest concern is this area right across here because this frame kind of swoops up and I think it might interfere with the, the bars that go across the bed right here because that swoops up right there. So we might have to figure out what we're gonna do with it right here as we might have to raise the bed up just enough to reach this point and shoot down. But we'll see how that goes in a minute. All right, so right now I've, I've got this one and a half inch square tubing cut to fit right along the back sill of the bed. It's gonna go right here. It fits absolutely perfect right how I have it right now. I just picked up a two inch flat stock, it's a quarter inch thick. I'm gonna weld that sticking straight out from this, three quarters of an inch down, so this will actually be the edge of the truck. This is what you're gonna see when you open up the tailgate, and it's essentially raising the bed floor up an inch and a half inside the truck. So right now we need to take this and get that lip welded on. Once that lip's welded in place, then we'll weld this into place right here, and then we'll just start working our way back in the bed towards the front of the truck. We're gonna start from the back, work our way forward, and then we'll get everything lined up where we want it. Once we know where this one's gonna lie, this will be the top of the bed. Well, actually we're gonna go off of the lip we weld down here, three quarters of an inch down. Then this center support will go in. And then I bought two pieces of angle iron sitting right here, three inch angle iron, quarter inch thick. And that's gonna, that's gonna work the bend in the bed. So it's gonna be the step up in the bed is gonna be out of three inch, quarter inch thick angle iron. So we're just gonna keep working our way forward from back here. So this is the first thing we need to do right now is to get this section squared away. So let's head over to the welding table. So this is the one and a half inch square tubing going in the back of the bed. It's uh, just about 49 and 5 eighths wide. So I need to match up this two inch flat stock. It's gonna go like this, three quarters of an inch. So this will act as a sill. The bed will come in here and rest up this two inch flat stock here. So I need to figure out exactly how I'm gonna line this up three quarters of an inch down, create the perfect sill. And basically we're just gonna have to make sure it's perfectly straight all the way across and just tack it, move to the next spot. Tack it, tack it, tack it, make sure it's perfectly up and down. I think I've got an idea. Got to use a square, maybe some clamp, but we'll get it. So I've got the two inch flat stock cut to fit the one and a half inch square tube. I'm using my square, set it three quarters of an inch. That's how far I want to set this down. So I'm going to mark it with the square all the way down so I have a nice consistent line. So that's the line. This is going to mount right here here, just like that. I'm gonna use magnets to make sure it's square, just like that. I'll just tack it and I'll just keep moving my way down here. That looks really good. Pretty much just start at the end and throw a little tack on the bottom. Just keep moving my way down. So I have it tacked in place right now. It's gonna sit in the truck like this. It's gonna get welded in. The boards for the bed are actually gonna sit right on this lip here and bolt down into place. We've got three quarters of an inch all the way down. This will finish off the boards looking really nice, just like the stock would, except for this one's inch and a half thick. It gives us a nice big edge in the bed. I need to run a bead down both sides here and really weld this into place really good. So we're gonna weld down the entire top side. We're gonna put a nice bead right down along here. This thing is fully welded in place right now. It's really, really hot. So I'm probably just gonna leave it right here, let it cool. Once this cools down, we'll get this welded in the back side of the truck. All right, so we're in the back of the truck right now. We just finished welding the back support of the bed on the welding table. Now to get that in place over here, I'm gonna take the tailgate off right now. That'll give me enough room to get in here with the flap wheel, get it all cleaned up for welding. So we're gonna take this off right now to do that. We're gonna take off this little hinge on the right side of the truck. Just two bolts. These two bolts come out, tailgate comes off nice and easily. Plenty of room to work, so we're gonna do that right now. Now we have all the room back here we need to work. Uh, clean up with the flap wheel, a 
slide this out of the way. I'll bring you guys back here so you can see what we're gonna be cleaning up. All right, so what we have going on back here, the tailgate has been removed. This back lip right here is what we need to actually clean up right along the edge, this little edge right here, because this is what we welded on the welding table. It's gonna get welded in place right here, essentially extending this up another inch and a half taller. So by the time we throw a weld in here, and we're gonna smooth it out, you won't even be able to tell we welded in something else right here. We're just gonna make sure it's nice and straight, straight across. And this is gonna get welded in just like this. So that'll be nice and flat. No one will ever be able to really tell that we did anything there, but we need to clean up the bottom edge of this piece, the bottom edge of that. We're gonna use the flat pull on the grinder. I've got my eyeball protectors right here just to be you know, safe, what we do here. I'm just gonna clean up the very edge here, probably clean up the inside a little bit if I wanna weld in any supports. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna continue welding all along here now. Get that all welded in place. But we got this all grounded, welded in, grounded nice and smooth. We'll just use some filler right along here when we're finishing the truck to make it all perfectly smooth. But that's gonna be nice and strong. So once this is all smoothed out, you'll never be able to tell this was at not factory. Other than when you roll the tailgate down, the tailgate will be about here, and this will, the bed floor will be up about an inch and a half. We have the lip in here that the bed slats will slide into and bolt down to right here. So now we just need to measure five and seven eighths down here and run a line, and that's where the tops of these boards will go, and then those will get tacked into place. So we're getting there, it's coming out pretty good. Going a little slower than I'd like, but we're getting there. So the top of this is five and seven eighths up from the bottom of the bedside. So what we wanna do is we need to measure five and seven eighths down here, throw in a straight line and get the next beam down here welded in place. Once that's in, we can throw a straight edge across to the top of here to the top of the next beam. And then we'll know exactly where the angle iron's gonna mount to go up and then straight back again. So the bed's gonna be in, come up at a 90 and go back out again, probably about 10 inches higher. And then we'll at least have somewhat of a lower bed floor for a majority of the bed here. At least you can put a cooler back here, won't fall out or whatnot. This cross member will be going in next, so we need to clean these edges up so we can weld it nicer. So we're working on the back of the bed right now. We've got this back sill nicely welded in place. I marked along here, five and seven eighths up on both sides. So know exactly where the bed floor is gonna sit, which means this cross member is gonna go in between here and the other side. I just need to figure out where do I wanna place that cross member now. So half of 29 is what? 14 and a half? That's where we're gonna center this. I need to measure 14 and a half inches, just for giggles. 31 and an eighth, about 31 and an eighth. It works dead on square right there. That'd be nice. That'd be a decent sized bed. So 14 and a half inches is what we need to measure from here over 14 and a half inches. So now this is going to go something like this. So let's get that tacked in real quick. That looks really good right where I have it. Fire up the welder. It's not gonna be perfectly level because the truck's not perfectly level right now. And it's exactly the same level mist. So I'm gonna get this welded in place over here and over there. Gotta lower the truck down now so I can get to the back side easier. There we go, back one's done, middle back, and then we'll have one right about here, all evenly spaced out. The angle iron will come up, go over, and straight back. All right, so I just cut two one inch square tube pieces at 28 and three quarters of an inch long. So I want the inside of the bed in this back section to be 29 inches deep. So I made these 28 and three quarters inches long because they do have some weld along in here, which will make up that other quarter of an inch that's not gonna fit. I'm gonna clamp these in place just like this. I'm gonna clamp it to the back section, the middle section, and then I'll know exactly where I need to put a three inch angle iron up right before the hump. We're gonna clamp these down into place right now, make sure they're nice and square, and then we'll go from there.
So that one's perfectly in place. We're going to repeat it on this side now. The whole name of the game here is to clear. I'm going to put 90 degree fittings in here so they won't be coming straight up. They'll be going out. But I still need to clear those. And two inches should be fine. So two inches above this mark here should give us plenty of clearance. All right, so right now we've got the one three inch angle iron running right across here. And I've got the second piece of three inch angle iron running right across here. So it's kind of like in a Z pattern. Right now it's sitting tall, sitting pretty tall. We're gonna put a 90 degree fitting on here so it won't be shooting straight up. And this is probably up about an inch higher than it needs to be. So we're gonna end up taking an inch out of this section down here. So I'm taking an inch out right there, which will drop this whole piece down an inch. And it's gonna get welded in place just like that, just an inch lower. So we're probably gonna use the jigsaw to cut that the inch all the way down out of this piece. Then we'll take both those pieces, set them over on the welding table to actually weld this into one piece so it's all nicely squared up. Once that's done, we'll figure out how we wanna manage this piece up here. And then we'll just continue on with the brackets all the way back. If I put a three quarter inch, kind of like we did down here, where it, the wood slides in here and it has a nice finished edge, the metal, so you don't see it. I could do that same thing up here, have a three quarter inch piece of metal come up and over and smooth flush down the face here. That way this will all be painted to match the bed of the truck. The wood will be on the top, have a nice finishing edge all the way along the edge. Painted the same color as the truck down, the wood will go all the way down here, and this will all be nicely painted to match the truck here. So everything will be nicely finished. You won't see the edges of the wood, which is key. So right now, we need to take an inch off of this to drop it down about an inch, and then we'll get that all welded together, get that welded in place in the truck right here, and then we'll continue on with the brackets. One's gonna be right around this location, and then one's gonna be in the very back. I'm using a Lennox blade for thick metal, 14 teeth per inch on this blade here. I'm using this on the jigsaw. Let's get cutting. Look at that, it's all cut off. We don't need this right now. Might use it for something else in the future, so I'm just gonna set this in my scrap pile of metal. So right now, we're just gonna clamp this in place. We're gonna clean the edge all up. So this came out absolutely perfect. One and three quarters on the button, one and three quarters on the button. And everything in the middle, that came out really good. So we're gonna grind this edge down right here, give it a bevel. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna smooth everything out, get it ready for welding. All right, so this is the one that we took the inch off of right here. We've got it all cleaned up where we're gonna weld, right along here. So we're gonna set this aside. We're just gonna clean this one up, the one that's original, the three inch by three inch, and then we'll go from there. We'll get everything welded together. There we go, we're just gonna clean up the welding table right now, get everything situated for welding these two pieces together. So we've got the welding table all cleaned up, we're gonna position the metal now to how we're gonna weld it, something like this. Just like that. Clamp down just like this. This will be the flat spot that leads up to the second level here, just getting us up and over the hump. So say we throw some clamps on it, make sure the sides are level, just grab a square, go from there. Ready to weld. All right, so I've got everything cleaned up nicely with acetone. We've got everything measured. So everything's the exact same width across. I'm just cleaning off some of the remnants of the acetone cleaning. Some fibers on there. We're gonna tack this in a couple spots, recheck the measurements, keep welding. Now we've got it tacked into place, we're gonna check it. 
take the clamps off, check it, make sure everything still looks good. Could even test fit it in the truck if we really wanted to. That's what we're going for right there. These should be perfectly parallel with each other. Dude, that looks really good. Oh yeah, it's gonna come out real nice. Very nice, very nice. Let's keep welding. Let's keep welding. side is ready for grinding. Smooth that weld out. So right now we're going to grind off what we just welded, make it nice and smooth, flip it over and weld the other side. Nice and smooth, all welded. Still got to flip it over and weld the back side, but for now, this side looks really good. It's gonna go like that in the truck. Nice and smooth right along here. Still need to weld the back side, but that we don't need to worry about cleaning up. Really just wanted this top section to be nice and parallel with the bottom, basically creating a big Z out of quarter inch steel, which is exactly what we accomplished. So right now I've got this clamped all the way down where we want it. We're gonna throw a bead right down the back side here. We don't need to worry about grinding this side because it's just gonna be on the back side. No one's gonna see it. I'm gonna make a nice bead with the MIG welder straight down the back side here. Once that's done, then we're going to put a three quarter inch piece on the top side that the boards in the bed will butt up against so you don't see the edge of the board. You'll see this nice piece of metal that's painted the exact same color as the truck. So the front side of this entire piece along with that three quarter inch piece sticking up on the top, on this side here, is all gonna be painted the color of the truck nicely smoothed out. So you're gonna have wood on the top, metal, as it transitions down to the lower bed, and then wood on the lower bed. So that's what we're gonna work on right now. We're gonna throw the bead down, and then get this piece up here cut and welded in place. So right now, this is all fully welded in place, nice and solid. We're gonna work on the top piece here, which we want to be three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna pull out a one by one square tube. Um, we'll probably end up cutting that down to fit. Uh, I think that'll work pretty good. So we're just gonna get that measured and cut right now. All right, so I got this piece cut to length. There is a ridge along this side. This is the side we're gonna end up cutting off because I don't want that ridge anywhere on the truck. Everything else looks really good. So it's gonna go on here like this, perfect fit. So we know this is gonna fit where we want it. We'll end up clamping this in place here, down and in like this, so everything's nice and tight. That'll be perfect. So let's get this out of the way right now, because we need to get this clamped in place to cut it. So this thing, oh, it's heavy. That's got some beef to it. Nice and flat right here. This will get welded on up here like this. So this will continue on the flatness up in the face that the boards will sit in here just like this. This will be a little bit lower, so we'll have the same three quarter inch thick board here as it's gonna be on the lower section that we did earlier. The boards will sit here going out to the lower section. This will all be painted to match the truck in here. The boards will be sitting up here. So this bridge up here will actually be painted to match. I'll probably put a little PPF over this just so it doesn't get scratched up as it's gonna be in the bed of the truck and then the boards will match up here. You won't see any edges of the board when we're done with this. Let's get this big piece out and get this thing ready to cut. So this section here has a ridge all the way down this side right here and we don't want that ridge. We don't want to deal with the ridge so we're just going to cut that side out. So that'll actually work out really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where we want to cut down this edge three quarters of an inch this way. So we'll probably cut off a quarter inch on this side. So I'll probably clamp this in place just like this and use the cutoff wheel to go one side and then we'll flip it over and do the other side. Then this whole bottom section will come off. We'll smooth it out with the flap wheel a little bit. Get it welded in place. Use my square here. This is exactly how thick the back side of the truck is right here. You can see that. That's about three quarters of an inch. I'm just gonna transcribe this three quarters of an inch all the way down this pipe here. So I've got metals nice and clean now. I've got a silver sharpie I'm gonna use to mark it. Do this, it's gonna go right there. Oh yeah, look at that. That comes out really good. 
and a cutoff wheel. We're gonna cut right down this silver line as best we can, as straight as we can. Flip it over and do the exact same thing on the other side. So we got one side cut. We're gonna flip this over, we're gonna clamp this down, and the idea is to take this whole side off. Look at that just, look how much pressure that, wow, bam. Look at that, it's pretty interesting. You can see we're kind of making a three quarter of an inch deep by one inch is wide, which would be the top. So you can see right down the center on the inside, this is where they welded it together to create the square tube. And this thing was under some pressure. I mean, that thing had some flex to it when it broke free from the actual rest of the piece of metal. So we're gonna use a flap and we're gonna clean this all up, put a bevel on that. I'm just adding a slight bevel to the bottom edge that we're gonna weld to the big bracket to get a nice penetration with the weld. There we go, so this is all nicely cleaned up now. It's basically a C-channel. So the idea is this piece is gonna be getting welded on right here, nice and flush with the face of the lower piece, like this, and then I'll get smoothed out. And then the upper set boards will bump up against this and you won't see the edge of the boards at all. So here's the cross beam right here. Here's the piece we just cut right here. It's gonna act like an end cap, really. The trick is I need to clamp it down to the table and up against here if I can. Weld right in here, smooth that out, right along there, just like that. So when the boards sit in here, they're gonna sit right here, and you won't see them. This will all be painted the exact same color of the truck right here. Smooth that with some filler, get that all nice and smooth. We do need to weld all along here. All right, so just to give you a little close up of what we've done so far is, this is how it's gonna look in the truck just like this. The bottom bed will sit right here and you won't see the edge of the wood because it's gonna be up against here. This is gonna be exposed, all nicely smoothed out in here. I'll probably put some filler in there and smooth it all out perfectly and paint this side to match the truck all the way up to here. And then this, I put this on here because the upper bed wood's gonna come in up here and rest right here. And then with this in place, you won't see any of the edge all the way down because this will all nicely be finished to match the truck. This thing is quarter inch steel, eighth inch steel right here. It's perfectly, this is way overkill for what I'm doing here, but it's not going anywhere once I get this welded into the truck, which is what we're gonna work on right now. All right, everyone, as you can see, this video is taking quite a long time just to get these bed supports situated. So I'm gonna cut the video right now and we're gonna finish this in part 43 next week. So as always, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification icon down below so you know when I do post future videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.